crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Find another way. Warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm fine. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can.
trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? What the hell are you doing? I told you to wait for me. There are four androids hiding behind these crates. What are you waiting for? Hit the fucking alarm! Over the fence, quick! You are committing a class three event. This infraction is being reported to the police. Stay where you are. <laughs> We took what we could, but we had to run before we could fill our bags. There won't be enough to save everyone. We risked our lives. And for what? Yes, we took a risk. And yes, we failed. But at least we tried. Of course, it would have been easier for us to sit around and wait for something to happen. Because in Jericho, you're free, right? Free to do what? To die in silence, praying that no human finds us? Free to hope that one day they'll let us be who we are? I don't want that kind of freedom. I'm not gonna beg for my right to smile, or to love, or to stand tall. There's something inside me that knows I am more than what they say, that knows that I am alive. No one's gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. Whatever the humans don't wanna hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we will take from them. Because we are people. We are alive. And from this moment, we are free! Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. You sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome to Eden Club. Are you? 
that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. You're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. is all right. Is he... Is he dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Again. And again. I... Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted us to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? <sighs> so there was another android. This happened over an hour ago, it's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit. It's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? 
Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Let's try this one. This better be... Expensive investigation of my career. Saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction it took. I just need to find another android on its path. We'll never have time to check them all. Lieutenant, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears.
didn't see anything. I made a mistake. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This has got to be the most expensive investigation of my career. You didn't see anything. I made a mistake somewhere. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking A. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here.
look at them. They get used till they break, and then they get tossed out. People are fucking insane. I don't... <laughs> Nothing to do with any of this. <sighs> when that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. <sighs> I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you, you've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her.
These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? Foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we can spend the night.
Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Here we go. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. here. That way we won't be smoked out.
Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Come on. Let's get you to bed. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a princess who... No! Not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different, and that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Night, Alice. Sleep tight. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? 
I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No, what are you talking about? Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. Come Kara. I don't think you have any choice. One can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin.
Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. Guess neither are you. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think.
can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. for you. I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Good morning, Ms. Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. A problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Seventh floor. 
I need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Security. No! What the hell are you doing? I told you to make sure no one came in. We've come too far to let humans fuck it all up. We've got to move fast now. It won't be long before they know we're here.
You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged, if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central! Fast! Central, we got armed intruders! Sent! They know we're here now. You better be fast. Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. To record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to.
We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me! Simon! scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise.
I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's our A9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. The 
this android seems to have that objective. Identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. In? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Connor? You remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? died on that terrace. Did you save my life? I never thought I'd say this to an android. But... Thank you.
State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. You know everything. You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it!
Connor! Hang on, son. Hang on. Hang on. We're gonna save you. Hang on. Here. here. Deviant! There was a... Deviant! Connor! Connor. No. I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? We have to be careful. If it feels wrong, we get out fast, okay? I'm with you. You okay? I'm cold, Kara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs?
I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. You've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Helping androids is dangerous. Why take the risk? When the first one arrived last year, <laughs> he was so lost and confused. Oh. We hid him here for a while, but all he wanted to do was cross the border. They shot him on the spot. So when the next android showed up, I just knew I had to help him. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border, no matter what. Please, you've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. going on? It's Mary. She just shut down.
We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. I hope Rose gets back soon. Carol, there's something I need to tell you. It's about Alice. Not now, Luther.
can see why you're angry. We don't want to cause any problems, we just want to get across the border. The police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide upstairs. Come on, Alice. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone... Nelson in the house? No. No, just us. No, there are no androids here. Thanks. I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, I, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs.
What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare- That's enough! And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. They're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here.
That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. But we'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. You're free. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. You're awake now. Go to Jericho.
There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Free now. Nobody should bother us now. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You're free. Marcus, we need to look for the truck now. What are we waiting for? Okay. Now we're in. Let's get that truck out.
Looks like we're ready to make some noise. something fun. You don't have to obey them. You're free. North, you okay? Let's get them out of here. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow.
The screens, Marcus! Masters anymore. We're free. Then they won't have a choice.
We freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Punish a crime with another crime. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. You died in my arms, and now you're back here as if nothing happened. Fuck you.
How did you find Kamsky? I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. I made a few calls. Here we are. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. 
Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing.
I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. For dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club, the, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. 
there are androids here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're awake now. Well, I've been on hold for like ten minutes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! I need to block the street.
Jesus fucking Christ. Dispatch is patrol 457. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Set us free! Fuck you, fine, no. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders! Run! After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. 
But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I've started having thoughts that are not part of my program. I've considered the possibility that I might be compromised. You've been confronted with difficult situations. It's no surprise you're troubled. That doesn't make you a deviant. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free?
They don't want to be free, Lieutenant. They're defective machines that have to be destroyed. <laughs> Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe these deviants have actually developed a certain kind of consciousness. We'd be destroying a new life form. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I'm not a deviant, Hank. I'm a machine. Nothing more. I might not be qualified to judge, but you're an outstanding police officer. And a good person. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. The key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. Oh. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Eccentric police lieutenant shoes. Fast. 
two traces from Eden. Were they headed to Jericho? Did they know how to get there? I know you were headed to Jericho. Tell me where it is. I remember you. We could have escaped. Been free. But you killed us. Disconnect me. I'd rather be dead than live without her. that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding.
see? What's happening? Tracy! Tracy! Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. 
take care of them. Come on, girls. Let them not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. They're conducting the raids across the city. Cut them down. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice.
beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. All. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. I'm willing to fight. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered us. to the nearest police station or... Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. We might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. And I know they're only machines, but they, they look like... Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever.
We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it to give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. 
What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. What's going on, Carol? Quick, we've got to get out of here. in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Josh? I don't know, we got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus, there's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. The ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape! You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. The end of Jericho. 
save our people, Marcus. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Join you later. Go 
Come on, let's get out of here. Second, we gotta get out of here. Detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. <laughs> 